My name is Mark, and this happened when I was 13 years old. It was a normal day in the morning, as usual. I was heading to school with some of my friends. We were just talking about several topics, such as school life or about the girls, you know. Then all of a sudden, I heard someone whispering. Guys, did you hear that? I asked, and one of my friends said, Yeah, what the heck? When I looked around, I realized that the voices were coming from the bushes, which were kind of far away from where we were standing. I ended up thinking that it might be some students who were trying to play pranks on somebody else. So we ignored them and walked toward the school. What a peaceful and boring day, I thought. Everything was going so normal until that incident. When we were in class, I suddenly heard another whisper under the window. I know that it was just a coincidence, but I started to get a weird feeling thinking about the whispering from the bushes that I'd heard in the morning. However, I ignored it again, hoping it would be nothing. A few hours later, one of my friends got a stomach problem, so he had to go to the bathroom real badly. He got permission from the teacher and rushed to the bathroom in a hurry. However, he didn't come back for a long time, which was kind of weird. Maybe he fell into the toilet, another friend next to me chuckled. About five minutes later, the teacher told me to go check to see what was wrong with him. I went to the bathroom alone, and when I was about to go in, I quickly smelled a terrible stench. Smells like blood. It was apparent that something was wrong. But then, I was being careless to find out what it was. I took one step inside and asked, Dude, is everything okay? But there was no answer in the restroom. I slowly started to open each of the stall doors, and then I found him all bloody in the last stall. And I realized that he didn't have one foot. I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was about to throw up. I mean, he was unconscious. His face looked pale. So I ran to the teacher and explained the situation. He ran to the office counselor and they immediately called the police and an ambulance. After they had arrived, they took my friend to the hospital and everybody had to stay inside. We all had feelings of anxiety. The cops searched the restroom and they finally determined the perpetrator to be a serial killer who was wanted at the time. Then something came across my mind. I ran to the police and explained to them about whispers that I had heard in the woods and under the window. The police immediately went into the woods, searched the whole area extensively, and found a hut. To our surprise, they found another four corpses inside. After that, they still couldn't find the murderer. And this incident has left everybody in our town shivering in fear. And my friend eventually lost his ankle, but his life was saved though. I'm just glad that he was saved. And think about what would have happened to him if I hadn't gone to the bathroom to check on him.